Uh, Rick Morrissey set to join us on loan from the Chicago Sun-Times, the uh, great columnist there. Uh, Rick, are you excited? Is it a, a, a day to cheer? Jay Cutler, seven more years? Oh, boy. Well, uh, for a columnist, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest thing, you know. The, the only better thing is, thing is if they uh, let him go and got Johnny Manziel. But this, I, I don't know that how, how this is going to play out, the actual hard numbers with this. He'll get a signing bonus here, but uh, the fact that Cutler, did they look? Were they looking at other options here? I don't, I don't think so. Um, you know, they said they've got this thing. Cutler has a radio show. Um, he does on Monday, and he said nothing had been done. And here we are, you know, three days later. I, I, this thing, if, if you sign a seven-year deal, I, I, I don't believe that gets done in in, uh, in three days. So, you know, there were hints of this, Dan, um, earlier. Uh, Phil Emery, the general manager, was talking about the. the franchise tag for, uh, for Cutler and how, you know, that doesn't make a lot of sense. $16 million for one year is, is, you know, that's a $16 million cap hit um, for one year, and it really would limit them on what they could do to rebuild a, a, an awful defense. So I, I'm surprised it's seven years. I mean, I, you know, the, the, you can't believe the debate in Chicago about whether, you know, who likes Cutler and who doesn't. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's probably 50-50 between like and, and you know, and hate. So seven years of this is just, it's just amazing to me. I, and I know they did it for cap reasons, but uh, that that's, he's, what is he, 30 years old? So yeah. that's 37. That, that's a long time. But if you're looking at this, Rick, from Cutler's perspective of where he is as a quarterback, I know he hasn't won a playoff game, but at age 30, this is when we expect you to already be decorated in the NFL. Right. Did Cutler get that much better with Mark Tressman in there than he had in uh, previous regimes? He, he got better. Um, I wouldn't say, you know, by leaps and bounds. I mean, he probably had his best year in terms of passer rating. Um, but, you know, th- th- the point is, does he want to go elsewhere and start over again? I, I think he likes Tressman. Tressman likes him. I think Mark Tressman obviously has a way with quarterbacks. Uh, you know, Josh McCown did, did, did great. Um, with, you know, he probably could have gone elsewhere for more money. Mm. Um, and, and you're right. This, I, I think, this is kind of what what he is. Thirty years old. You know, if, if you're betting on him getting to be, you know, Tom Brady or Peyton Manning, that that's just not going to happen. But the Bears think they can win with this guy, and with Pressman's, um, you know, uh, tutoring, that that he can become. Um, you know, I, I I don't think he's a top ten quarterback right now, but maybe he can be um, going forward. Did Josh McCown's success hurt Cutler a little bit that we saw the problem wasn't offense with this team. It was really defense. But McCown played at a very high level. Yeah, he did. And um, I, I think in terms of public perception, it hurt Cutler. Um, because I think everybody, and I, I thought the same thing, was, well, the, the offense is not going to be as effective with Cutler out. And then all of a sudden you have five starts from from McCown who puts up better numbers. And then I think in, in the you know, in the court of public opinion, everybody's thinking, well, you know, why do we want to sign this guy uh, to, a, to a huge contract if, if McCown can do it? Now, I, I would argue that McCown was a small, small sample size, and yeah. he had a 10-year career that was very average, and I think that's what he is. I think he's an average quarterback who, who, who had a nice run in a, in a, in a, in a system that was, was really good for him. Before I let you go, we're talking to Rick Morrissey, Chicago Sun-Times columnist. Lovey Smith, the former Bear coach, is now uh, taking over in Tampa. What's Tampa getting? Well, I wasn't the biggest Lovey fan. Um, I, I, I mean, I think they're getting a guy who, who knows defense, who knows one kind of defense, um, who, who gets players um, on his side, who gets them to play for him. And I, and I, I, don't, I don't mean to... You know, uh, uh, underestimate that. I, I think that's a, that's that's a strong, um, a strong talent to have. Guys are very loyal to him. I mean, I'm sure you've heard comments from Brian Urlacher to this day. I mean, they, they're they're a group of guys that are really loyal to him because you know he would let the guys play and and um, uh, he really took care of the, the guys who played well for him. So, um, you know, his his offenses were, were really bad here. Um, he went to you know, offensive coordinators um, like crazy. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's a mixed bag. Um, you know, there are a lot of Bears fans who hope they keep takes all these defensive players who stink here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rick. I know you got a busy day. Thanks for joining us. All right, good.
Uh, Rick Morrissey, Chicago Sun-Times. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.